search continues. Well, a year has passed since I first set out to explore the world of spirituality in the 90s. What I was looking for then was first-hand experience of esoteric rituals and belief systems. What I got was stripped naked and painted with mud and feathers in the middle of Wales. My mum always warned me that something like this might happen, but would I listen? No, I would not. See what happens? No one said enlightenment was going to be easy. I'd like to thank everyone who felt moved to write after that first series, particularly the man who went to some length to explain, in block capitals written in three colours of felt tip, that I was the spawn of Satan. I think that a willingness to see the other person's point of view is so important, don't you? Which is why, once again, I spent the summer seeking out people who are also seeking and think they just might have found something. From the sunlit delights of druidic dress sense to the midnight black menace of ritual magic is an unusual trip with no map available and no destination guaranteed. So, how do you know where to start? Of course, this isn't the sort of stuff you'd want to rush into if you weren't prepared. After all, if you're hiking, you make sure that your, your feet are hardened and your boots are supple. You might also choose to opt for a nice walking stick, hand-carved with a crystal in the end, like this one. I got this from the two hairy men who guard the Temple of Isis, but that's another story for another day. Before setting off on a gruelling spiritual journey, I wanted to be sure I was ready, both physically and mentally. I considered yoga, I almost went for meditation, but eventually I decided it was best to let a complete stranger stick needles in my face and head. If he could sing while he did it, so much the better. First, though, it was off to Hampstead for rebirthing. A deep, relaxed breathing technique, a tank of water, and a qualified rebirther like Paul Sakey enable you to let go of old thoughts that limit you and take on new ones that empower you. So how does that work, then? The water helps to facilitate the amniotic conditions of, of the womb. So this is a way of going back to that perinatal state before the cord was cut, before the first breath happened, so that you can remember the innocence of your, your being. So you're going to get a sense of what it's like to be with that full ebb and flow of life energy. What I got was the oppressive sensation of being in an underwater padded cell with all my innermost fears. I'm not saying that rebirthing doesn't work, just that I'm not very good at it, which I suppose is an empowering realisation. It empowers you not to do it again. Birth, death and Tuesday afternoons in Hampstead, equally threatening experiences. All right. A very wise but rather rattled old man once said, everyone should try everything once. Especially this. So far, so good. Yeah. To expand your mind, hypnotherapist Stephen Russell inserts 25 needles. I rather liked it. The spirit has a kind of a body, it has a shape that's invisible to the, to the naked eye. But that's your real self, your authentic being is the spirit body. Now, by getting to the spirit body through the needles and the hands in the trance. That will do so much to heal the physical body. That will allow the energy to flow freely and creates changes in your life. Okay, so that's all the needles in the head. This is just activating them all. It's interesting, some of them I can't feel at all. There's some just a little twinge. Mm. Normally, of course, I'd wear a hat. Are in 
position. Things will start happening for you that will appear quite magical. Your psychic vision will increase. Your dreams will be more lucid. You'll be sharper thinking, uh, more positive feeling, uh, and more in your body and more relaxed about whatever's happening. At the end of the passageway, Nicholas Yani trained in Hawaii in the ancient tradition of kahuna bodywork. It aims to focus us in our physical, sensory selves rather than in the realm of thought and to act as a catalyst for profound personal change. The more you come into your body, the more you find exactly that kind of stillness within which actually the mind functions much better. So the kahunas are suggesting um, that if you really come home to your breath and feel right into your body, that it's then that your consciousness starts to really... Oh. So that the body, the body isn't an irrelevant shell that's getting in the way Quite and the stopping opposite. us from yeah. reaching the spiritual yeah. if, plane. If, yes. if, there's, if there's one core thing that I would say is the most important thing that kahunas have to tell us now, it's the, exactly the opposite of that. That far from being an adjunct, the body is actually completely essential. In Hawaiian temples, initiates would be massaged for up to 15 days. After just an hour and a half, I was eight miles high and rising. As I hit the road in my turbocharged fuel injection Ferrari, gliding down the M25 at warp speed with the stereo turned way up to 11, I felt at one with everything. Things on the planet just couldn't have been better. But what about off planet? What about the aliens? It was time to head for Glastonbury. Glastonbury, the Isle of Avalon, birthplace of British Christianity, and also an excellent shopping centre if you need Merlin t-shirts or CDs of dolphins singing Sinead O'Connor songs. I was heading for the Acorn Centre, where I was to experience the crowning ceremony a ritual designed to reconnect the DNA strands that have been disconnected by aliens. The human race, I don't know for how long, possibly almost from the beginning, has been genetically manipulated by another race, an extraterrestrial race that seeks to control us using fear. For people who don't know that, they are completely conditioned and at the mercy of mind control, low frequency mind control. And that comes from on planet as well as off planet. It will all have to be dealt with. So you're, but essentially you're going to reconnect me, or you're going to try to re reconnect me to uh, my original energy force, yes? Or to our original energy force? I'm not going to try and do anything. I'm going to facilitate you doing it. Right. Would you please find the pulse in your neck with three fingers? <clears throat> okay. okay. And very gently, with three fingers from this hand, place them into your belly button. When the 12 DNA helixes cut okay. by the aliens are reconnected, contact with the spheres of light and your own personal God Slightly. will be reactivated. Slightly. Intriguingly, Slightly. you don't need to believe this in order for it okay. to work. The muscle test is to check whether you've been reborn from previous incarnations with some DNA already rejoined. 